Hi everybody, it's Shanna with Shanna Sweets. Thanks for joining me. I want to make you a quick card using Free as a Bird stamp set. I'm not using the framelits that come with it. You can get it as a bundle and get these super cute labels. Aren't they so cute? Um, but I wanted to show you this super cute card um, that we made in my class. And I want to um, remind you that right now I am offering a um, online class that is open for signups for until um, the 25th and you will get to make eight more cards four designs using this stamp set um, you if you already own the stamp set you can get the class by itself or you can do an add-on for the bundle so you would get both the stamp set and the bundle so the whole thing is like $87 that includes shipping and you get the whole thing or you can just do the class for $25 and just get the uh, pr uh, product. The class itself comes with the, the card design, um, a quarter pack of paper and a package of gems. So, but this card is super quick, super easy and super cute. I love this little birdie. So we're going to start by using this little oval uh, circle and we're going to stamp him with Memento because we're going to use our blends. So Memento is the best ink for that. And I re-inked my ink pad last night so it's a little juicy. But I've been using it a lot lately and it was pretty dry. So I'm going to let that, I think I'll stamp my sentiment while that, that tail's a little juicy. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment in early espresso because I'm using espresso. Um, and I, let me grab a baby wipe. I got some on the edge and I don't want to take a chance of that getting on my paper. How many times have we done that, right? See, that would just get on my paper. So this is our normal stamp blocks, right? And if you get one of our card kits, um, a lot of the card kits come with a stamp block and this is the stamp block you get in there. They're really nice. I mean, they're not as big as the normal ones, but they're really good thickness um, and they stamp really nice. And look, you get this block to use for later on. I think I, no, I think I just stamped him a little high there. That's okay. Still works. All right, so I am using, um, this is, I didn't color the beak in that one, but I want the beak in this one. So I'm using Mango Melody for the beak. Just a light color. And then we so saffron was uh, new in the new catalog, and that's the color that I'm using here. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna speed this up because this just is really quick. And these little birdies, I'm gonna go a little bit into the wing, and then all the new in colors, I believe all of them have a marker this time around. So I went a little bit into the leaf and I'm going to go a little bit into that so saffron and then just down his little feathers here. A little bit extra into the bottom and I'm going to go just a little bit more into the top part and I'm going to go ahead and take my so saffron and go a little bit more into that leaf just to add that shading and I think I'll go just a little bit more into my belly here make that just a little bit darker. And then I have some granny apple. And this is how I made the bottom. I just kinda dabbed it. Not a lot, just dab. And then I took my white, or white clear colorless blender, 
and I just rub kind of generously and that fades it and smears it and kind of lightens it up and that's all the coloring like it's super quick to color that little bird so now we can do our card this is so saffron and it's eight and a half by four and a quarter and you just fold it in half and then my early espresso is uh, four by five and a quarter. And then my whisper white is five by three and three quarters. And then I took a piece of the DSP. Um, which I believe was four the quarter inch like four and three quarters by double check here I know I have the measurement written down four and three quarters by an inch and two inches and then we're going to these are both the stitched can you see that stitch circles and then just layer them and boom that card is done that quick super simple super easy and I love it if you want to um, purchase anything from my store this is the July host code for this month anybody who purchases $25 will get my sweet treat for the month which happens to be Christmas in July. So, also don't forget about my class um, that I'm hosting. I will try to put a link below. Hopefully I can figure that out. Um, if not, email me. I'll be glad to send you an invoice. Thank you so much. Bye.